Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys the weekly twin flame reading. So we are going to go ahead and get some energies for the masculine as well as the feminine for this week. So last week, well not last week, but I guess just this last weekend, um, I went ahead and did a weekend energy. So um, I may try to do that every weekend, um, but if nothing else, I will at least bring the weekly reading um, starting on Monday. So that way you guys can just kind of take a look and see you know, what the week is going to bring. Or I'll post that on Sunday, which would be today. Yeah, anyways, I'll figure it out. Okay, so why don't we get into this reading? Let's just go ahead and see what uh, Twin Flame energies are surrounding ourselves, our journey, and just everything. So I'm going to use a variety of different decks here today. So for the masculine, we're going to go into the Spellcaster's Tarot. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this for the masculine. And because I'm working with so many decks, I'm just going to literally just kind of put them up here. If you guys want to do it, um, this one is called the Everyday Witch Tarot. If you guys want to go ahead and throw in a uh, timestamp, go for it. I don't have any announcements or anything. This is the Twin Flame Messages, available in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. Twin Flame Oracle, also available in my Etsy shop. Twin Flame Shadows, also available in my Etsy shop. This right here is called the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards. This is called the Chakra Insight Oracle Cards. Self-Care Cards by Richard, or Cheryl Richardson. And last but not least, The Angels, Gods, and Goddesses Deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. Okay, well, I was going to take it, but I just changed my mind, so. All right, let's get into it. So, very first thing we're going to go into is the masculine. So, we're going to do the overall for the week, and then we're going to break it down day by day. So, what is the overall energy that the masculine may be in for this coming week? So, this is going to be the week of, I guess that would probably be helpful for me. Um, I will list that, obviously, on the video, but what's the freaking date? Okay, so this is going to be the week of the 19th, basically the week of November 19th. 2018. Oh, wow. Okay, so the masculine is in the Three of Swords energy. Okay, so the Three of Swords energy is freaking heavy. This just might mean that the masculine is very heavy in his heart space. He's feeling heartbroken for some reason. Um, yeah, overall, he's just like feeling very pierced in his heart space. Heartbroken, sad. That's just what I'm getting, you know? Why is the masculine in this energy? I want to get a shadow with this. Wow, we have ruthless. Um, it could be that somebody, um, somebody's ruthless behavior. Now, this may not be tied to you. It could. It could be that he was ruthless in his behavior towards you. And so he is starting to feel badly about this. He's starting to feel heartbroken about this. Or it could just be that this has been the ruthless energy of another. And so because of this, this has caused a lot of heartbreak and sadness. Maybe he's had to ruthlessly cut you off. Maybe there is a third party situation for some of you out there because I do have three people here and I have three swords. So I, that's the only reason I'm saying this. Kind of like somebody needed to choose between you and someone else. And maybe their ruthless energies here, they know have hurt you. And so it in, in turn hurts them. But definitely sadness and, and heartbreak here. So let's go ahead and get the words from the masculine on this situation. I'm very curious as to what this is. Wow, I can't handle your words right now. So it could be that somebody took, or not somebody, your masculine took some sort of ruthless action by maybe just stopping, like they just stopped talking to you. They may have ghosted you because they can't handle your words right now. So it does break their heart to have to do this, but I'm just seeing that somebody has had to take ruthless action or it could just be that ruthless action has been taken towards them. So they're kind of getting a little bit of a, a karmic uh, blow dealt to them and they're still just kind of being quiet with you perhaps. So let's get an Oracle card with this. Damn, settling. Whew. It could be that somebody just decided to choose another partner and just kind of settle with the old shoe, the old comfortable shoe, rather than taking a chance with you. And they can't handle your words about that right now. They can't, they can't handle hearing your words because you want to know why they know you're right. That's why. They know that you're right about something and they don't want to deal with that right now. They don't want to deal with what you have to say. 
So what they're doing is they're just kind of settling. They're settling into some old patterns and some old energy that they know that they need to change. They know that they need to fix and let go, but they're just going to settle anyways. So yeah, that's what I'm getting here, his overall energy for the week. So it's very intense, very, very intense. So why don't we go ahead and take a look and see what your overall energy is for the week, Divine Feminine. We have King of Cups, so... King of Cups is completely different than that uh, Three of Swords. So the feminine is in this energy here where, you know, you your masculine could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. King of Cups is definitely this energy here where we are mastering our emotions. We're owning our emotions. We're not afraid of facing our emotions. The masculine looks like he is afraid of facing his words and his emotions right now, and you look like you are embracing this. So that is really good. Yeah, you're, embra you're embracing that maybe... Maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you were misguided in some way. Like you're willing to own up to maybe that you did something that maybe wasn't correct or wasn't, you know, you were misguided in some sort of way or information. Maybe you reacted in a certain way, but you were just misguided, but you're owning it. That's what I'm saying. You're owning it. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down, and that's not always um, easy to deal with. This is the thing. You're telling, it's like what you're saying here is that you are you know that the masculine doesn't want to see you or doesn't want to talk to you right now because they can't handle the truth. That's what it is. So immediately, if you're not resonating with this reading, this reading isn't for you. I'm definitely channeling um, twin flames that are probably in some sort of separation or they're not talking much because it looks to me like the feminine is owning something and the masculine is running from something. And so the feminine knows deep down, she intuitively knows that the reason that the masculine is either avoiding her or why he has cut contact with her or why he hasn't chosen her if there is a third party situation is because he doesn't want to deal with something. He's settling and, and you know it. You know he's settling so he doesn't want to face you because he is ashamed by this or something like that. It's very interesting. Yeah, so we have Muse. You know, you're... You're trying to paint a new canvas then, okay? I'm seeing your overall energy for the week is you just accept this. You accept that this is the energy that your masculine's in. And because of it, you're just kind of like, okay, not that it doesn't suck. It does. But the thing is, you're not going to put the you're not going to put the paintbrush down of your life. You're going to continue to create. You're going to continue to manifest your dreams and your desires. So the masculine is dealing with a consequence of his inaction or action. And you are taking the lesson like, you know, uh, like a king and, you know, willing to admit that maybe you made some mistakes, but you're, you're wanting to paint a new picture here. Masculine's wanting to run. You're wanting to move forward. That is the overall energy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what is the twin or the overall energy of the journey. Okay. A breakthrough is at hand, breaking trail. Well, that's good though, because that just means that the overall energy for the week is that we are going to break trail. We are going to break through this energy. So this energy isn't going to last, which I do like to see. So that's awesome, okay? So why don't we go ahead and take a look and see of the energy that's going to connect you and your masculine this week. Wow, we have self-esteem. This is the thing. Somebody has to get into their energy of self-love, self-worth, their own confidence. Pride may also be at hand here. So the thing is, until somebody is feeling good themselves, they're not going to make the right decision. So as much as you may want them to make a different decision, unless they're willing to see it on their own, they're just not going to have that breakthrough. But I do see breakthrough here at hand this week through somebody's self-growth and self-esteem. So it may be that the masculine is really breaking through a lot of this heartache and a lot of this just kind of bummer settling, just kind of crappy energy. So um, I think that that's really, really great. But this is also your energy as in you're not going to let this take you down. You're not going to let either the masculine's choice or his inaction um, affect you. You're going to still work on yourself. You're going to love yourself enough to move forward. That's the breakthrough that you're also having this week on your twin flame journey is that you're not going to allow this to break you. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and just some specifics though for the week. So let's just see where the masculine is at Monday, where the feminine is at on Monday. Okay, well, we have the masculine and the king of wands energy and the feminine and the seven of wands energy. So the king of wands is this energy here of somebody who, and this is just what it reminds me of, you know, the king of wands is somebody who might be just kind of putting on that, that act 
of feeling very confident, okay? And this could be done on social media, meaning that it seems that the masculine is feeling good. But see, we just saw here that the masculine is not in that energy, but you might be tricked or you might fail to see that maybe, maybe um, you can't judge a picture, you know? You can't judge what people uh, choose to show you on social media. I really see that the masculine is struggling this week, but it, maybe on Monday you see a post that's like, well, it doesn't seem like he's doing bad. It doesn't seem like he's not doing great. But what Spirit is saying here is the Seven of Wands, that's for uh, the feminine. The feminine is still very much like, be careful. That's kind of a warning to me. Be careful. Whatever energy, you still do need to protect yourself. So it's kind of like the feminine, you do need to keep continuing to put energy into your own healing and your own self-love at this point. Try not to get taken off your path because of what the masculine is exuding. That's what I'm getting here. He's like exuding some sort of behavior. So what's the connection on Monday? I see there's still maybe not a lot of communication. Somebody's not speaking to somebody here. There's still this energy here, but there's still very much like somebody needs to protect themselves against the masculine's energy because the masculine's energy is a facade. That's just what I'm getting here, you guys. It's just a facade. So why don't we go ahead and go into Tuesday? Masculine energy on Tuesday, feminine energy on Tuesday. Two sevens for the feminine. But the masculine's energy on Tuesday will be two of pentacles, just kind of like, you know, up and down, back and forth, not very stable. And the feminine's energy will be, she's just going to kind of be tending to her own garden. She's just going to basically be kind of re-examining what her goals are, perhaps, you know, for some sort of, you know, reason. So she's going to be very focused in her own garden is what I'm getting. What about for the connection? Yeah, see, somebody is still unawakened. I really feel like it's the masculine. The masculine is still just kind of not getting something because we can already see in that wands energy, king of wands. And there's nothing wrong with the king of wands, but I have to go with the energy and the messages that spirit are giving me. The reason that the masculine is being showcased in the king of wands is because it's an act. It's not real. It's kind of like he might chew, like not chew, um, he might, uh, I don't know, there could be a special message out there for some of you out there for a masculine that chews tobacco. I don't know. Anyways, my point is, is that it's an act. It's, it's, it's an ego. It's like a front. So, but the masculine is still kind of like, he's not seeing something. He's not, he's not growing fully. He, he's exuding this behavior, but he's not really in touch with that change. So that's why he's kind of back and forth and all over the place. And that's why you're kind of just re-examining your own garden and saying, okay, well, you know what? I don't know if, if my masculine is not wanting to grow with me, then I'm just going to go ahead and tend to my own stuff right now. So that's the energy on Tuesday. What is the energy on Wednesday for the masculine? Five of swords, feminine, four swords. Do you see how the masculine is kind of doing stuff and the feminine is just kind of like, you know, do your thing, you know, play your games, do, you know, be in this act. It's fine. I, I pretty much know what's going on here. I know what's happening here. Um, you know, I'm trusting my intuition. I know that for some reason that you just can't seem to, you know, show up or speak to me or whatever the situation is, but I, I, I know what the, the deal is. So that's okay. I'm going to be in the four of swords energy while you're in this five of swords energy. So this five of swords is like, I'm going to win. I'm going to prove my point. I'm going to basically, I'm, you know, I'm going to win at no or at all cost. I'm basically going to do anything that I can not to be defeated. Five of swords energy is horrible energy. Um, it's one of my least favorite cards. You know, uh, three of swords and 10 of swords sucks. Yes, but five of swords means that somebody's playing mental games. And so again, that's why I just said earlier on Monday, the masculine is in the king of wands energy. And that king of wands energy is somebody who's pretending, pretending, putting on a front. And here's the game right here. And so you want to know what you're doing? You're not participating in it. You're not buying it. So if that means that you need to to uh, pull away from social media and stop watching your masculine, kind of pretend like everything's okay, um, or that they're just not speaking to you. You're just kind of pulling away from this energy, feminines. Yep, you're not going to stay stuck. Because the thing is, the connection is still stuck. The connection is still not moving forward on Wednesday. The connection is definitely still suffering because the masculine is still either playing games or the masculine is still not awakening to what he you know, needs to ultimately do. So let's go ahead and take a look at Thursday. Well, Thursday, we have the Magician, and we have the Three of Pentacles for the Feminine. 
I like this because it does show me, you know, Thursday is Thanksgiving for some people. And it could just be that there is some new energy that uh, steps into the masculine's life. And so he's feeling a little bit better than he has been in the past. Maybe he's trying to figure out what he wants moving forward, what he wants to create. And the feminine here, she's been in the uh, pentacles energy here a lot through this reading, which is somebody who's just kind of wanting to create, just really focused on her own plans, her own goals. Maybe she's even focused on collaborating with people in order to make something come about, spending time with family and friends. This is Thanksgiving. Okay. What about the connection? Connection's kind of open is what I'm getting here for Thursday. It's kind of open. It's just kind of like, you know, people are just freely doing their own thing. They're just kind of working on them. They're doing them. They're not really doing anything for the connection per se. They're really just focused more on their own selves. Number one means the masculine is fo focusing on himself. Feminine is in three, which means that she's kind of focused elsewhere, working, you know, working on something freely elsewhere. Oops. And uh, Friday, the uh, masculine. Masculine's in the hermit mode on Friday. Feminine is in the nine of wands. You guys are both in nines. Very interesting. You know, nines to me uh, speak of people that maybe are alone uh, in a state of solitude. Sometimes the nines can also be an indication here that we're at the end of a cycle. Basically, the next number would be 10. So like the nine is a like number of self mastery here. So there's definitely this energy where the masculine does need to basically face something. He does need to make some sort of decision and he's going to have to go within in order for that to happen. So the nine of wands coming from the feminine's perspective is that, you know, I just I don't know how much more I can handle. How much more can I just be backed up? How much more can I fight? How much more battle can I take? It's getting very exhausting for the feminine. Yeah, solitude. Look at that. What did I just say? Nines being solitude. So I see here on Friday that the feminine and masculine are just kind of doing their own thing still. You know, they're still not either speaking or they're still just kind of working on themselves at this point. I'm just seeing it's definitely needed for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look for, um, I'm just going to do the weekend. The weekend energy for the masculine. Five of Wands. See, do you see how the masculine has consistently been in the struggling energy throughout this entire reading? I think the only energy that I've seen him in that's not really struggling is that magician's energy. Everything else has been a front or it's just been a struggle or a fight. Feminine. Eight of Pentacles. Again, another Pentacles for the feminine. Really focused on working hard, just doing her, working on her. While the masculine is still in this inner struggle where he's fighting everybody off, look at that. You know, there's just kind of like this unnecessary drama, unnecessary struggle. Feminine's just basically focusing on her own stuff right now. Now we have guide, just letting spirit be the guide, not even really trying to do anything towards this connection. The guidance is for the feminine to just kind of concentrate on her and do her thing. The thing is, I do like the fact that we just have this little, um, it's not a lantern, but it usually is for the um, hermit, but it's a candle on this deck. This guidance here is being given to the masculine currently in order to get out of the struggle. So that's why I really feel like there may be some sort of breakthrough this week. There's a breakthrough at hand, at least this week. A hand is being given to the masculine in order to break through this energy. So there is hope, but not all is lost. So this is good, but I see definitely an energy of struggle. And so for some of you that are in a third party situation, it may be that you're seeing your masculine dedicate a lot of time to another relationship because of either the holidays or whatever the circumstances may be. It may even be that you're not really so worried about it because you're spending time with family and friends and you're really focused there. A lot of people are on vacation this week, so that can also be a relief from stress as well. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and get some angel advice um, for basically this week, some angels that are showing up for us and how they are helping to aid the situation. What is an angel for the masculine? Oh my, you know what? Remember how we had unawakened for this reading? The goddess of awakening is with the masculine. That's what we've got here, okay? And this is the um, focus for the masculine, to choose love, literally. Awaken to this love. Awaken to this love, not only with yourself, you got to choose love. Ch let your love become a powerful force for change. So literally, this is about following your heart, you know, opening yourself up to this kind of love that the masculine is either holding at bay or just not wanting to choose for whatever reason. But the angels are really working with the masculine this week in order to open his heart to love, to have that awakening. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, what about for the feminine? Goddess of strength. Stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by holding your ground. 
So, you know, the advice for the feminine is basically like she is already awakened, but she just needs to hold strong. The more self-respect that she has for herself, the more ground she's going to have. And she is being helped this weekend from the divine or this week with the uh, divine. I mean, she always is being um, helped as in anybody is, but she's really has extra help by her side this week when it comes to becoming strong, staying strong in the face of adversity, being strong when it comes to not, you know, succumbing to the games or not succumbing to what she's seeing or her, her biggest, darkest fears. What about for the connection? How are the angels showing up for the connection? Wow, see, goddess of shadows. We have three goddesses. This is the gods, goddesses, and angels deck, and we have three goddesses. So what I'm really seeing here with the goddess is this is feminine energy. Feminine energy is about, you know, being receptive and being soft and being passive. And so I really feel like the angels this week or goddesses are showing up with this connection with the feminine and the masculine to really help to soften them. Even though we have this very masculine energy, which is to stay strong, stand your ground, I definitely see more feminine energy here. So what the feminine is feeling is actually also helping to aid her masculine. So the goddess of the shadows is talking about what you perceive to be a dark side of yours or a problem actually holds like a treasure, like it's a blessing. So the feminine and the masculine here are facing their shadows through what's happening right now. And it's achievement, meaning like this is about goals. This is about, this is a part of their work on this journey. Look at that. So it says, choose your dreams. You may be surprised by where they lead you. So again, what you perceive as a dark side actually holds a hidden treasure. You might be surprised where all of this leads. And so all of this darkness, all of this stuck energy, all of this like just confusion or dark time, you're going to be surprised. There, There is a treasure in all of this. There is a treasure in the lesson. Um, with all of this stuff that you're going through with your masculine. So if you're not going through this, this reading was not for you. If these messages did not resonate, they are not for you. Not every single reading that I bring, you know, to my channel is going to resonate with all of my viewers. I might be tapping into a certain set of energies. You know, it may not be everyone in the collective that's going through this. So you just got to take what resonates with you. So hopefully some of this resonated for some of you out there and it helped you just to kind of see where things might be going this week. But not all is lost. Everything looks like it is, you know, heading towards a direction to achieve goals and to work on something here. There's a treasure. Treasure Wow. Treasure chest at the end. And I have a w unawakened and awakening. And I think that that's beautiful in one reading. Love it. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks. Bye-bye.